Welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. This is a BTEC Applied Science. It's Unit 5 Chemistry, and we're looking at the commercial reactions of alkenes. So where does this fit on the specification? Well, it's learning aim A2, and it's towards the bottom down here. Look, reactions of commercial importance, and we're looking at the free radical polymerization and the hydration. So by the end of this video, then, you're going to know or be aware of those two important reactions of alkenes. And the idea that they are very common reactions that are carried out in industry around the world, and it's polymerization, and in particular free radical polymerization, and the hydration of ethene to make ethanol. First up, though, if you don't subscribe, please do. Your support is very much appreciated. And please use the like and comment features and let me know what we think. OK, so let's start with the free radical polymerization. So a little bit of background information. So a free radical, that's a species with an unpaired electron. We've seen that in the reactions of alkanes. A monomer, well, that's a small molecule that can join together to form a large polymer. And a polymer then is the large molecule that's been made from many small monomers. And polymerization, that's the process of taking these monomers and joining them together to make a large polymer. Now addition, polymerization or free radical polymerization that's when the monomer molecule is an alkene and that's the one we're looking at today where there's a carbon carbon double bond we're going to undergo free radical addition polymerization conditions for this reaction then it's carried out at 200 degrees and 2000 atmospheres that's a very high pressure and we do need a small amount of oxygen because the first thing that happens is the oxygen and the alkene will react to form free radicals. And there's lots of different free radicals that will form. So I'm just going to use a general term. I'm going to use RA, and that's going to represent a radical. So the first propagation step then, because the, the second stage of this reaction is a propagation, and there's two steps to this propagation. And this is the main section. This is the main part of the process where lots of alkenes will end up joining together. So the first propagation step the radical from the initiation will react with some of the ethene or alkene. And what it does is it then joins to the radical, but in turn produces another free radical. And it's this free radical that we've just formed in step one that will go on and react with more of your alkene, in this case, ethene. And that just joins into the chain so that we end up joining those CH2, 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 CH2. And that's another radical. This radical can then go on and do further propagation steps to make another chain. So you'll add another CH2, CH2 and so on and so on and so on. So these chains keep getting longer. What can happen eventually, though, is two free radicals can come together um, and that would terminate that reaction. So you'd end up with a final molecule there. So for example, if I was to say that two of these came together, we'd end up with one, two, three, four. You'd end up with eight carbons in a chain because two of those would come together and you'd end up with eight carbons in a chain and that would have terminated it, the coming together of two free radicals. Now, this process is very random which means you do get a large mixture of polymers of different chain lengths. So it's a random process, some very long chains and some less longer chains, if you like. So the overall process is an alkene with any four groups. I'm just going to label them A, B, C and D. So we take any alkene and in the process of our high temperature, high pressure and oxygen, what happens is we've got N of these. So we don't know how many because it's random. So the, the N can change. In some cases, N can be very big. It could be very small. We don't know how many times, but it, it's random. So N of these will come together. The double bond breaks, allowing these alkenes to join end on end n times and these four groups would just remain the same that was a d that was an a that was a b and that was a c so this on the right hand side would be our polymer 
and on the left would be our monomer. And we needed 200 degrees C, 2000 atmospheres, that's high pressure, and we needed a small amount of oxygen. Moving on to the next commercial reaction of alkenes then, and specifically ethene, the hydration of ethene. Now it's called hydration of ethene because water is being added to ethene. It's being hydrated. In fact, it's actually steam because it's carried out at a high temperature. And this is done to produce industrial ethanol. So this ethanol is very high percentage ethanol. It's, this isn't the same ethanol from um, fermentation, which we would drink. So this is for use in industry. And it's used primarily as cleaning products and solvents within industry. It's carried out at 300 degrees C and 65 atmospheres. And we do need a concentrated acid catalyst, usually sulfuric or phosphoric. We have seen this mechanism in a previous video as well. So that's our reaction there. We take ethene and we add water to it to make ethanol. Thanks for watching then. Good luck and thanks for your support.